So y'all want to hear a joke? All right. So I'd like to go over here and do my videos, especially when it's like a Q&A one-on-one session, right? Well, I get over here and there's nobody here. I'm like, cool, I can make this happen. It's nice outside, ain't nobody here. I can knock this video out quick. Well, soon as I got the camera equipment set up, soon as I got uh, some B-roll footage done, there was seriously like three cars that pulled up and a bunch of kids and stuff hopped out. I was like, oh my goodness. That wasn't even a bad part though. Shortly after that, I was getting ready to start recording this video and this trash truck pulled up, this loud diesel. So they're getting the dumpsters and I, I promise it looked like they're taking their sweet time doing it. So I'm sitting here just waiting like, oh, this is awful. So the diesel truck finally left. So I'm gonna try to knock out this video. What is going on you guys? It is TBA and I'm gonna make a quick video about my favorite lore, which is the Storm Swim Shad. These little boogers right here, all right? It's probably one of my favorite uh, lures to use when targeting fish that like to go and react after lures. All right, y'all, so these are my assortment of lures right here. Um, again, with the Storm Swim Shad, I've used them, I guess, periodically over the years, but it wasn't until I went fishing with my buddy Ken K for some snakeheads that I really saw how effective these lures are. So once I saw that, I wanted to decide to get some. And because of the coronavirus, you know, for those of you who fish, you'll notice that a lot of the stores were actually sold out of these, so I had to order these online. I'm actually seeing that this particular lure is better for brackish waters. I've actually had more rockfish. I've seen bluefish hit these, but I really haven't had too much success with them with uh, freshwater bass, snakeheads, and so forth. This particular one, I've only used a handful of times, and I did catch a nice white perch on it, but uh, outside of that, there's really nothing much. These two lures right here, I've actually yet to use. I actually caught my very last snakehead on this lure right here. That was interesting because this was a, a how-to video, and I was actually getting ready to pack it up and move to another spot. So I started reeling fast just to get my lure out of water, and that's when a snakehead hit this lure. This is probably one of my favorites because I've probably gotten the fastest reactions and bites from snakeheads on this particular lure. I had this lure, I threw it out, wasn't even in the water a second, and the snakehead just attacked it. And finally, my favorite lures. These two lures right here are my ace in the hole. I've had chain pickerel, uh, snakeheads and rockfish all attack these lures. It's also why my supply is getting kind of low right now, but these seem to be the favorites overall with fishing. So let me talk about the pros and cons with these lures, all right? Anyone who knows Storm Swim Shad know that these lures are very affordable. All right, you can get a pack of three for like $6 in a store and you know, and, and, and even if you don't have a specific, a specific color in the store, there's no problem with going online and ordering them online and you'll be good to go, you know? There are not too many species of fish that don't like these. Again, just from my experience alone, uh, snakeheads, rockfish, northern pike, chain pickerel, largemouth bass, smallmouth bass, um, those are just fish that I've witnessed actually hitting these lures, right? And I've also heard uh, that bluefish like them as well. I've never targeted bluefish, but bluefish also love, from what I've heard, these storm swim shad. There are a multitude of different colors that you could get with these storm swim shad. Again, when you're using lures, your goal is to match the hatch. You want to mimic whatever bait sources out there that the fish are feeding on. So that's your ultimate goal. And a lot of times like rockfish, snakeheads, uh, you know, with these bull minnows, especially on the Eastern shore, this is a perfect size of the bull, size of these bull minnows. Let's say that you 
are looking to start using lures and you just don't know where to start. Good thing with these uh, Storm Swim Shad, all you have to do is cast out and retrieve the lure. Because of this paddle tail on the end, it does the work for you. So as, as you're working a lure, the paddle tail is just going in the water. So it all, the bait itself automatically looks lifelike when you're working a lure. You can find these almost anywhere. You can find them in any bait and tackle store. Uh, Dick's is a very big uh, uh, retailer that sells these. And even places like Walmart, you know, just your regular retail where they have a fishing section or an outdoor section. They sell these just as well, man. And you can find them anywhere. Like I said, it took, I had to order mine because I wanted to build up my, uh, my arsenal of Storm Swim Shad and when coronavirus hit a lot of the bait and tackle stores were sold out of everything so I had to go online I wanted, I went on Dick's and I just ordered every color I could find right I got to, I like to use the three inch uh, Swim Shad when I order when I use my uh, Storm Swim Shad for fishing another wonderful thing that I have found myself to be really effective with the Storm Swim Shad. Now I'm going to use the one right here, my favorite one, because I've had so many different species of fish hit this particular one. But there's this thing called short strikes. Uh, you get it a lot, especially with snakeheads with topwater frogs, where when they attack, they'll attack the tassels or the very end of the lure, where they'll bite, but they won't get the hook. With these, Rock, especially rockfish and snakeheads and chain pickerel, they attack the whole lure. I very, very seldom have had a hook come out because of short strikes. You know, when they attack, they attack that whole lure. And it's normally a very good hookup ratio too. You know, with snakeheads, there's a deal where you have to count um, three seconds, wait to set the hook. You know, with these, once you feel them hit, just set the hook and, and you got them. You know, that's why another reason why I love the Storm Swim Shad. It's a very good hookup ratio. The ones that I've lost on these is because I was, um, I wasn't sure if I was snagged up or if I hit a snag or something like that and what would happen, a snakehead would jump with it in his mouth. I had not set the hook fast enough so it would drop it. Overall, my personal opinion with the Storm Swim Shad, they are very good lures. And again, the lure does the work for you. So all you have to do Cast out, retrieve. The Lord does the work for you, all right? Now, we've talked about the pros, and just like with anything in fishing, there are some cons, all right? Just like with the pros, just like with the price, being a pro to the Lord, I could also be a con to the Lord as well, because as you know, you get what you pay for, and a lot of times, you know, I have noticed, especially with these two, I do have some defects. All right, so the price could be a pro and it could be a con, depending on who you ask. Now, the way these Storm Swim Shad are made is a soft plastic lure, all right? Inside is a, um, is a lead weight, right? Inside around the head portion. Connected to that are its poppy eyes right here that you see, and there is the uh, eye of the hook and the shank and the point come out around the dorsal fin area, all right? Now, how these lures work, you reel it in, again, it goes, it skims through the water like it's bait fish swimming. Sometimes these weights are not perfectly balanced. So what happens when you're reeling it, the fish, the, the, the bait, will sometimes go sideways like that. Now, it, it just looks abnormal when it's being worked, but I have had fish hit the Storm Swim Shad when it's just abnormal like that, all right? So, and, and again, I was wondering if it was the leader line I was using, so I would try whole different things with leader line, and with some particular uh, uh, lures of the Storm Swim Shad, they were still doing the same thing regardless of the leader line, 
the pound test liter line, the amount of liter line I had on there, it didn't make a difference. It, the, these lures would still do the same thing because I'd take another lure of the same color and it would swim just fine, all right? So that is a downside. Uh, normally, I've had it happen three times in my whole assortment of lures right here, right? Another thing that it unfortunately it, it just happens, especially when you're targeting toothy fish. You know, again, these are a soft plastic lure, right? Oh, well, snakeheads! For those who've never caught a snakehead before, snakeheads are very aggressive. They attack very hard, and when you're fighting them, they thrash and, and go crazy all over the place. I can't even begin to tell you how many lures I've had destroyed, tails bitten off. Uh, just the, the soft body completely ripped away from the hook just because of the, the teeth and the aggression and the fight of the fish. It happens. Again, it goes back to that price. You get what you pay for. And as a matter of fact, I actually have to buy more uh, of these blue swim shad because snakeheads and rockfish and chain pickerel I have seen firsthand absolutely love these blue ones right here. That's why I have so few of them as opposed to all the rest of them. Uh, again, they just, they take a beating. They don't, when, when you have a good day of fishing, especially with toothy fish, uh, these are gonna get destroyed. It happens, all right? All right, another downside, which is out of all of our control, coronavirus, all right? When it was right around when the coronavirus was wreaking havoc, uh, is when I went fishing with Ken. As a matter of fact, I talked about Ken in this video. That snakehead video is going to be in the description, all right? But when I went fishing with him, I wanted to buy a whole assortment of these lures. So I went to Bass Pro, they didn't have any. I went to Dick's, they didn't have any. Went to Walmart, they didn't have any. Went to my local bait and tackle stores, they didn't have any. So I said, you know what? I just went on uh, online on dicks.com and I just ordered a ton of these lures. I just found every color I could possibly find and I ordered a bunch of them. So that's why I have this whole box of them because a lot of times, especially when I go snakehead fishing, this is all I take, man. It's all about keeping the fish interested. And sometimes I've noticed with snakeheads, you throw a particular color, you don't get no more hits, change that color up. That's what happened. I was getting hits on this. After about a half hour dive down, I switched to this color right here, and man, that bike turned right back on. Gotta keep them interested, you know what I'm saying? I'm a really big fan of Storm Swim Baits, and I'm gonna tell you right now, their biggest customers are not in America. They sell us the cheap stuff in America, all right? I went on to their Instagram page, Storm Swim Baits, and in Europe, oh my gosh, they got a huge market for these Storm Swim Baits, all right? For example, like these right here, these musky lures, these are the V slab, which you see right here, all right, and the Rip It T-Bone, all right? These are musky lures that they sell in Europe. Uh, you can order them here in America, but you're not gonna find these in stores anywhere in America, at least from what I've seen. You know, they're a very huge market. I am trying to find where I can order them. I found the Rip of T-Bones, I'm still trying to find the uh, uh, the V-Slabs uh, uh, lures because they really look good, all right? But these are my Storm Swim Shad, all right? Again, simple, easy lure to use, very cheap. You know, the saying goes that the lures in stores don't attract the fish, they're meant to attract the fishermen. That's absolutely true. Me, I get a little nervous when I see a lure for like 30 something dollars, because my thing is, you lose that lure, you just throwing money away, you know? But, that's a part of fishing though, all right? So again, I hope you all got a little knowledge of this video. Um, it's gonna be a link in the description to where I order all my Storm Swims at, all right? And the way Dix does it, you order them, wherever they have them available in the country, they'll put them on order, ship them to you. You know, when I got them, 
I was getting them in the mail over the course of a week and I forgot, I was getting some I forgot I ordered. So, you know, but it's my Storm Swim Shad, man. You know, I never leave home without them, you know? So with that said, I'm out of here. I'm chilling today. I actually got a catfish tournament I'm fishing in tomorrow. So I'm gonna get some rest. Gotta talk to my fishing partner and uh, we got some planning and stress, the strategic things we gotta talk about, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, I'm out of here, all right? So in the meantime, y'all take care. Be easy, Baltimore angler. See y'all later, man.